Hello guys. In this video of Ansible, I'm going to show you how to configure Ansible master and slave, but in key based authentication. So in my previous uh, configuration, in my previous video, where I showed you the configuration of Ansible master and slave, but there I used keyless authentication. But in this video, I'll show you how to make sure that the authentication is happening key based. So, so I have my Ansible machine and Ansible slave machine. So let's log into it. So this is my Ansible master machine. Okay. This is a fresh machine. So let me quickly update it and install Python in it. Just bear with me till then. So it's done. Now when we first logged into this machine, how did we do that? We used the key file, the SSH key that we downloaded while creating this machine in AWS portal. We used that. So we will use the same key to authenticate to this machine from master. How to do that? Let's quickly see that. Okay. So I have that file here. Let me show you where is it? So this is that particular file. So I will, so I have already pasted it here. So how did I get this file? So if you remember when we launch EC2 instance in AWS, we always select a key. We always uh, put a tick mark on the checkbox saying that I have access to this key. I confirm that I have access to, key, to this key. So we will copy the contents of that PEM file and we will paste it here okay so now i'll go to my host file sudo bi slash etc slash hosts so here i will configure my slave but i will use the key now Maybe slave view and simple SSH host. Okay, let's quickly check what it is. Ansible SSH host is equal to the IP address of slave. Now, now we will mention the key file here. How to mention that? <clears throat> so I'll just pause it here so that I can get my key. So what I will do, I'll have brought my key here. So I will say that my key is in Ubuntu new key dot pem. Right. So now what I have done, if you see, okay, go back and let me show you. So I mentioned that this is my host IP address and this is the key file that you can use to authenticate to this particular host. So this is we are doing key based authentication. OK, so now let's try to ping that file and will if and I'm ping all. So the ping is successful, right? This is how we set up a key based authentication because this is the best practice which should be done. Not that keyless authentication. That is not the best practice. 
we always try to create a secure communication so that's why it's better to go via key based authentication or there is another way where we can use username and password where we have domains okay so also it's not a best practice to keep keep this key this way we should always be encrypting the keys so encryption how to use ansible vault we have coming upcoming sessions for that so stay tuned to my channel so that you can catch those videos so what did we do in this particular session i simply brought all the contents of my key file here i got the contents of key file from that pem file that i downloaded from aws while creating instance and pasted it in my new key.pem in my home directory i created a new key.pem in home directory and pasted the contents right here so now my key file is ready so so how did i now configure my inventory file i went to the host file i mentioned the tag and group whatever it is so i mentioned the group the tag and then the ansible ssh host as my the ip address of my slave machine and then i mentioned the path of the key file which can be used to authenticate to this machine okay so i mentioned the entire path of that file so now when my ansible tries to communicate to this machine then it gets the ip address and then it also gets the key which it should be using to communicate to this particular machine right so this is how we create key based authentication this is how we configure key based authentication between ansible master and ansible slave machine so in next video guys we are going to see how we can uh, install and configure ansible in red hat and also how to configure red hat machine as a slave machine in our ansible master which is in ubuntu machine okay so our master will be ubuntu and our slave will be red hat and also we will configure slave machine as some windows machine as well so in next session we are going to see two types of configuration one will be configuring slave as red hat machine and second will be configuring slave as windows machine okay so we'll see how we can manage windows as well using ansible so these two configurations we will see and then only from session post that we are going to see the syntax of ansible playbooks we are going to see the different components in ansible playbook and then we are going to create some okay thanks guys